there were a lot of people in the university of the girls who were very open to receiving that sort of um, change from students. Uh, I think there are certain areas which still need a bit of work. So um, the, the recycling project I already mentioned, there have been some people who've been really, really positive and received that really well and tried to do their best. But there's other things which might have helped even more. So if they could, if students could have been part of some of the meetings that seem to happen behind closed doors like in their eyes, um, then that might help students understand the processes a bit better and target their projects a bit better. So I think there's a little bit that can be done and through, I've been gathering some feedback from all the projects at the end of the year and um, heard some of that. So hopefully I'm going to be able to feed that back to the university to certain members where it's relevant and try and improve that further for next year as well. But uh, I guess one of the main things with regards to the staff and the actual talking about the project with them, it's been quite difficult to coordinate with all the different members of staff. Like you got like facilities people, sustain head of sustainability, the green unit, uh, then like people that like, printing printing services. The difference between the guild and the university. I think that's just generally increased my understanding of how that all works. But it's been quite difficult in terms. Of contacts and then they don't always reply straight away they don't know who's saying what you know you talk to some people and they'll be like speak to other people so it's been quite difficult like that but ultimately it's one of those things i reckon one of the main things i learned from that was that you've got to just go just go and see them directly it was one of those things i didn't really think about i just thought you know it'd be polite to email but quite often you don't get a reply you go out to their office knock on the door and they're more than happy to help it's just they've got many other things on so, so i mean <laughs> what we provide largely i think is just a way to have make that student voice heard in university processes. So certain things like our ethical exit project was um, was a project to pressure the university to implement a socially responsible investment policy. And a large part of that was asking the university to be more transparent in their investment processes um, and to get the student voice represented in the way the student invests its money. And that's something we can provide channels for them to talk to the right people, um, you know, support for them to campaign and gather petitions and surveys. Really empowering. And I think especially the, the Green Unit, which focuses on environmental issues, it's so easy for people to feel disempowered. What can I possibly do? But the fact that there is such a receptive group of people here makes that so easy. So people just need to have the strength, you know, the willingness to speak out about it and it will be received. And you know, they will receive the support, especially in a place like this. A really great group of people who will help them.